Hello riders or not, today on the vlog is Royal Enfield Meteor. If you haven't watched a first impressions episode of this bike, I recommend you to do so. Because I was thinking for quite a long time after having it for nearly two months, for a long time and riding it quite a few times during that period, I was thinking, what more could I say about this bike? And I couldn't think of many things that I felt different from riding it a very first time and riding it over and over again. It felt exactly the same. It was as easy, as simple to ride it for the first time as to ride it for a second, tenth and all over again. But I promised you a full review of a bike and it would be a shame to do not do one after having it for such a long time, luckily. I met someone who is the owner of the Meteor and I could ask all the questions that been bothering me as a person who wouldn't buy it. I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't buy it for many reasons. It's just not for me. It's not the bikes that I personally prefer over many bikes that I like more. So who is the buyer and why he bought it? How he getting on with that? how many miles he does monthly, how it is to live with one. Bear in mind, he is the owner of a Triumph as well. So how it is this comparing with a bike, everybody, absolutely everybody compares me to your web. Hi Martin. Hello. Can you tell me when did you got your bike? Uh, about two months ago. Two months? Yeah. And how many miles you did in two months? Uh, I'm now up to about 2,350, something like that. Yeah. Why you decided to go for this bike? Yeah, well, it's, it was sort of, I was looking for something to get me backwards and forwards to work. And I was looking down the scooter. Um, a 125 scooter, I thought that would do me quite nicely. And I saw these come up and the price of them and I thought, you know, I'll give it a go. So I went for a test ride and yeah, brilliant. Um, you know, it's, it's done all of that and a lot more. I was really surprised me. Can you tell me a, a little bit about your background? So have you rode bikes before or you decided to start riding for commuting? Why? Oh, well, I passed my test oh, when I was sort of 16, 17, sort of whenever, you know, back in the day. Um, and yeah, I've been on bikes most of my life, for it going down to sort of like a little C90 for a little while and while well, getting a mortgage and everything else, you know, you have to cut back. Um, yeah, and uh, I've, I've sort of, I've now got this uh, and I've got a Triumph Bonneville as well, which should have been ridden more, but since I've got that... So <laughs> you ride Meteor more than, than Triumph? Than the, Bonne, than the Bonneville. Why so? Uh, I've just found this easy. You can, you can jump on it, it's manoeuvrable, it's light, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a bike that sort of does everything. Okay, it's not that quick top end, but, you know, I didn't buy it as to be a racing bike, so... Yeah. Where did you go for, two th for over a thousand miles a month? Is, was it just commuting or you did some trips? Well, first of all, I had to run it in. Now, that is a bit of a pain because you can't go over 50 miles an hour. 50 miles an hour? Yeah, that's for how long? The, uh, for 1,200 1, miles. So oh, okay. <laughs> I was backwards and forwards to work, country lanes on the weekends, you know, and uh, just enjoying myself. Got that out of the way, got the first service done where they do the valve clearances at uh, that's only at 300 miles actually. Um, so got all of that out of the way. Um, but the other week uh, I went to Walton Park. Um, being from Essex, I mean that's a 235 mile trip each way, isn't it? So yeah, that put the mileage up. Uh, and then obviously you had um, the Cop Doc show this last weekend, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you go to Walton Park for a day or for longer? Uh, I, went, I went up on the Thursday. Um, it took me about 
five hours, I suppose, all in all. But I didn't use motorways. I used um, a couple of bits of dual carriageway, but the tripper on here, which is the sat-nav, that really helped in that in that um, score of things. But um, it cut out a few times, and, you know, no, I don't think any sat-nav's perfect, but it did the job, you know. Can you choose more curvy routes on, on the tripper, the, on non-motorway no, routes? No, you can just, you can put in that you don't want to go on motorways. Um, and then it directs you And then, you and then it directs you, it, it makes sure that you doesn't go, don't go on the motorways. You can also um, get rid of toll roads, I think it is, and ferries. That's the options you've got. It uses Google Maps, actually, but you have to go and use it through the Royal Enfield app. How many hours the longest you spend in a day on the bike, on this bike? On the bike in a day, I would say probably um, five and a half, six hours, if you include the brake sort of halfway, you know, for about half hour or so. Did you find anything uncomfortable? Um, actually, it was surprisingly comfortable. Um, the seat, and that's just the standard seat. So the bum, your bum didn't sort? Uh, I, I, I ate a, little, a bit, yeah, I ate a little, a yeah, bit but, but I wasn't, you know, in agony, you know, I could yeah. have carried on, so yeah. I mean, you have to stop, you know, you have to stop to fill up with petrol at the end of the day, although that's got a 15 litre tank on it. Wow, wow, and, and how many miles do you think, uh, do, do you know how many miles you can do I haven't that? gauged it myself, but they say about 100 miles to the gallon if you ride it frugally, you know. Wow. So. At 70 mile an hour, that's it. You're at full throttle uh, and you haven't got anywhere to go above that. Uh, it likes, it seems to like between 60 and 65. Um, and then you've got a little bit, if you're coming up on uh, slip roads and things, you've got a little bit of wiggle room to filter in, with, let the traffic filter in. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was in the outside lane, overtaking lorries and things, going down the A14, um, you know, so yeah, it handled it quite well, you know. So you didn't feel restricted in any way riding any road in this country? Um, as I say, in truth, the dual carriageway, if I had been on my Bonneville, it's nice to be able to accelerate up to 80 mile an hour, get past something and then pull back in. You can't do that on that. Yeah, um, yeah. But then it's not a sports bike, it's a cruiser. And it, on the country lines, I, and I think you've said it before, I was just, you just smile all the time. It's a happy bike. <laughs> It definitely yeah, is. It yeah. definitely put the smile. I yeah. didn't expect it yeah, that. It yeah. definitely put the smile on my face. It's like riding an older motorcycle as well. With That's some the respects. feeling, yeah. isn't it? It's yeah. just like feels purely a motorcycle as it is. Yeah. Quite simple. Quite manual but at the same time so easy to ride it's yeah. it's, it's not difficult isn't it no it's, uh, and that's it you've got no traction control no no sort of modes uh, rain modes or anything you're it's all controlled by your hand yeah that's <laughs> it when you went to walton park for a few days did yeah. you pack a lot yes i was uh, i was camping you i had were a, camping yeah tp tent on the back um change of gear, uh, some food, a little camping stuff, sleeping bag, sleeping bag yeah. so, so you pour, you packed everything yeah, on it was, here? it was piled up. Can I've, you send I've, me a picture I can, please? I can do, yes, oh, Wonderful. No problem. Seems like it's very easy to it was, pack just yeah. about everything. Yeah, and I mean, I could have, I didn't, I used the top box, but the, obviously the top box will come off. And I got the rack off of eBay, um, you can they come direct from India, I think, uh, and you can get them for half the price if you do it that way. So, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, wow. So what gym. else have you changed already? Can you take us through? I'll grab yeah. the camera and I'll film uh, what, what you've changed. Okay, so, um, as I said, you've got the top box and the rack. Uh, I've added the screen as well because this was originally the Stella model, the mid-range bike. So it um, it actually came with the backrest, which I've taken off. That's what I have on, on my on yours, the yeah. bike, yeah. But it didn't have a screen, so again, that's uh, again is a is an Amazon uh, job I got that from. Do you remember the prices roughly for for the accessories? Um, roughly. That was about seventy pounds. The rack was. 80 um, sort of 79 you know pounds uh, as I say from a main dealer you're looking at probably about 140 pounds I think they are it's so, still not too expensive isn't uh, it yeah yeah anything else you've changed um, well I had heated grips as well because I plan to use this 
I, I plan to use it as a commuter bike, so all the way through the year, right the way round. Um, and I thought that would just be a bit of comfort, you know. <laughs> um, otherwise, that's tool about roll? it. Was the tool roll on? Uh, oh yes, uh, yes. Sorry, I forgot about that. I picked that up at uh, the Peterborough Bike Show, the last one that they've unfortunately done now because of the building on the land. But uh, five pound. Wow, <laughs> that's a bargain. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, that, that is basically it at the moment. I mean, it's only two months in. I'm trying to keep the warranty on it at the moment. I thought, is that you know, why you don't change it further? At the moment, yes. What are your plans then? Uh, I'd like to get a DNA filter because they reckon that, that does make a difference to the bike. It will give it another couple of brake horsepower and it gives it a better pulling range uh, through from sort of 40 to 60 mile an hour acceleration wise. Um, someone did say to me uh, the only way to explain it is like uh, someone with asthma uh, running a marathon. <laughs> um, and it's you know, basically taking away that breathing problem so uh, yeah um, there's other things you can do I mean I'm thinking about an exhaust um, but again that would, um, to do that you decat it as well because it's got a catalytic converter on it um, uh, that would be something probably in a year or two's time uh, I'd, I'd like to see it through the warranty for the first year to make sure everything's fine on the bike. I can't see any problems and uh, all the reviews I've seen have been pretty good. How tall are you? Um, I'm just under six foot so I'm not exactly sure if that's probably five nine something like that. Do you mind sitting on the bike? Yeah, so sure. I will show you how, how do you sit because you found it very comfortable so let's show everyone. You reach the ground. Feet nice and flat. And um, you have mid controls. Do you have any cramps in your legs when no, you're riding? No, this is it's a very comfortable riding position. You wouldn't change the, anything. I, I wouldn't change in the riding it. position. No, the bars, nothing. Nothing on this at all. I, I adjusted the bars, obviously. I can see they're a little bit closer yeah. to you now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, is that what you did without any uh, any buying anything? Just simply pulled them a just, little bit towards yeah, just you. Just undone the four caphead screws moved it forwards, locked them up again, job done. How about suspension? Do you find it okay for you? Suspension, I, yeah, I find it um, okay. It's a little bit um, solid on the back and I think that is uh, something that, um, again, you get come up time and time in the reviews. Um, and I suppose the lighter you are, the worse that is. <laughs> um, yeah, but, uh, yeah. Would you change it? Um, possibly again, yes, because there are couple of firms out there that are doing quite a lot of parts of these now. Um, I know there's, is it Hiscox? I think is one of them. And there's another one as well, which I can't think of the name of now, but they, they do all the DNA filters, exhausts, all sorts for it, so yeah. Uh, how much is your insurance, if you don't mind me asking? Because uh, I'm 59 years of age now, um, yeah, I, I've got a multi-bike policy, but uh, I'm with Carol Nash and they're charging me, I had to um, get it uprated, so it was about 11 months insurance and it was 30, about £30. Pound. About £30 pounds yeah. insurance for mm. that, plus fuel consumption is very... Yeah, as I say, 100 miles to the gallon. Servicing, was that expensive? The first service was, uh, I got that done at the main dealer where I bought the bike from. Um, and that was, uh, I'm just trying to think, it was about 300 pounds. It's still uh, a fraction of what you pay for some other they brands. They do the valve clearances on the first service. Mm. So you've got to get the bike there, leave it with them for about five hours to cool down. Uh, and, and then they've got the workers stripping it right out, you know, which is where the money comes into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So would you say that this is very good value? I think so, yes. I think it's very good value for money. And once the warranty's out of the way, you can work on it yourself. It's simple to work on. Will yeah. you? Yeah, I will, yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> I hope that you found this interview extremely useful. I know I would if I would be looking to purchase Meteor. But now let's get to a ordinary stuff that I normally do on my reviews, talking about the size of a bike. I'm 1 meter 75 centimeters 5'9". <laughs> and as you can see, I can reach the ground fully with both feet standing on the ground. 
everything is very comfortable. It's like you sit on the chair. As you can see, all the controls, levers, everything is very easy to reach. I wasn't struggling with anything. Mirrors, I don't block them almost at all. Just about that much of, a, of each mirror I'm blocking with my shoulders. Probably if you are broader shoulder, you will block a little bit more. But that's a fact that with the Mickey Mouse mirrors, you're not blocking it. All the controls are very simple, as you could expect, from a very simple to ride and very simply built motorcycle. After riding a meteor for a few times, I finally realized what it is so exciting about it. It's a slow bike. It's small and simple. The exciting part of it is to go faster than you expect it to go, to make a corner faster, to overtake someone. Every single thing that is very simple on the bike, like katana. On this, you have to put the effort in. You have to really put the effort in. <laughs> I found that fascinating and the bits when you just enjoy when you ride and you don't have a wish to go faster because you can't and you start looking around enjoying the nature catching the sun rays and simply enjoying a ride until the next corner until the next opportunity to drop the gear and go a little bit faster then pick up the speed again and have a relaxed ride. This is what I liked about the Meteor the most. But the first and the main thing of this bike is the value that you get for the price you pay. That is unbeatable, absolutely. And also the comfort and easiness to ride it. It has a side stand and has a central stand, which I never use. I don't think I ever put the bike on the central stand. How you even do that? Okay, let's try. But then how I'm gonna take it off? You hold it like this and then just push back. I don't know how to do it. Somebody has to teach me how to use a central stand. If you own the bike with a central stand, let me know. Because I, because I want to take better pictures. I mentioned it already at the first impressions episode that uh, in my opinion, this is a bike for somebody maybe older age, somebody who's getting back to riding, somebody who's looking for a comfortable, easy, everyday commuting bike that you can use anywhere. 
we just had a proof you can pack your luggage you can pack your tents go camping you can ride for hours you will not get tired maybe on the streets you will get bored most probably you will but who wants to ride a motorcycle on the streets anyway thanks for watching guys and i'll see you on the next one